Are you someone who usually prefers to initiate changes or wait until things get really bad and change is the only option? So I am the first because I want to take control of my life instead of being put on the spot and I have to deal with change reactively. I have not always liked too many changes before. However, I realized that throughout my journey, I have gone through so many drastic changes and it builds resilient and adaptive skill in me which help me deal with changes and crisis more proactively. So in today's video, you are going to learn more about how to train and strengthen your resilience while making changes and crisis work best for you. Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode. If you are new to my channel, my name is Trin. I am a business and life strategist. I specialize in mental health, mindful living and self-mastery. I create content weekly on this channel around those topics to help you grow while building a life that brings you happiness, purpose and fulfillment. If you enjoy my content, do consider subscribing and click on that bell notification so you'll be notified when a new content is out every Sunday and Wednesday. We all often get trapped in the comfort zone or familiar zone. So even though sometimes our situation is not very comfortable, but because it's familiar to us and we know how to deal with it, we actually choose to stay put where we are instead of looking for new changes that can improve our quality of life. When we face a crisis or change, our first response is resisting and wanting to go back where we felt more comfortable. And often we choose to go back to the status quo and wait until change is the only option. However, there's so many disadvantages about dealing with change reactively and here are the three disadvantages that I can share with you. Number one, when we are being forced to change, our mindset is switched to victim mindset because we think that we have to make these changes. On the other hand, if we are the one who initiate the change, our mindset will be a growth mindset because we think that we choose to make these changes. Number two, when we are in a comfortable state, we are not progressing. So by the time we are being forced to make changes, things will be so much different and it takes much longer for us to catch up, become more relevant, and we will suffer more to get there. So let's take technology for example. Some of us has gone through the years when we did not need to use much technology in our job and in our daily life. So if we did not make effort to proactively learn computer skills and smartphones, we will become irrelevant when a marketplace demands such skills to get a new job and to run a new business. Number three, as we were not prepared and equipped with the necessary skill to deal with change and crisis, we will have to deal with them with so much stress and anxiety, which will negatively impact our mental well-being. Changes are uncomfortable and so is growth. If everything is comfortable and easy, we are not learning, we are not challenged to think, and it does not prepare us to deal with stress and problem. On the other hand, we always become stronger and wiser and better after going through hardships and challenges. So here are the five tips that you can use to train and strengthen your resilience while making crises and changes work best for you. Tip number one, train ourselves to be ready for any changes. This means that we need to constantly improve ourselves, learn new skills and initiate good changes to train our mindset to receive change more positively. As for me, I had been in an organization for 16 years prior to this. However, I had always been given so many opportunities to do openings for hotels. So I never really stayed in one workplace for more than three years. I am very big on my personal growth. So I would feel very uneasy if I have to be stagnant for a long time. So the moment I got comfortable, I would take on new challenges to learn new things and to grow. So the regular change in environment and people train my mindset to be more open-minded when it comes to changes. I 
also do not recommend anyone to stay in their workplace for more than three years because the longer they stay, the more comfortable they are and the harder it takes for them to move on and get adapted to new changes and new environment. Number two, accept that changes are uncomfortable and uncertainty are parts of life. Nothing is permanent and neither is our situations. I've seen many cases where someone did really well in the first 5 to 10 years of their career, but everything went downhill. It was because they thought that their situation and job was permanent, and they didn't want to learn or pick up new skill or improve further. So when they lost their job, they scrambled because they could not catch up to become more relevant in the marketplace and ended up they just have to settle for anything that is available. And that's why it's so important for us to keep on improving, learning, pick up new skills, and initiate good changes to make ourselves become more relevant to the marketplace and not wait until we are being forced to change. Number three, focus on what we can gain instead of what we have to lose. When we face a change or a crisis, if we can shift our mindset to think about what this change or crisis can teach us and what we can gain from this experience, we will be more resilient to go through this. For example, I quitted my job that gave me a comfortable pay monthly to pursue my dreams. So it is really easy for me to just give up when things get hard and go back to get a comfortable job that gave me a comfortable pay. But I know that I can get my time and financial freedom when my business is stabilized. And most importantly, I get to do what I love and help others every day. So focusing on what I can gain gives me so much motivation to keep going and push me harder to achieve my goals. Number four, focus on finding the solutions to make this work instead of the options to go backwards. So when I wanted to quit my job, I was given an option to do part-time while building my business. I thought about it, but I decided to decline. And the reason was I want to make running my business the only options that I have, and I need to make this work. In addition, I know that I do not want to go back to the 9 to 5 job because I want to have the freedom to work anytime, anywhere, and I want to build multiple streams of income. That is why when something is not working, I do not quit. Instead, I brainstorm and explore new ideas and solutions to grow my business. Number five, get support and guidance from our support system. We should always surround ourselves with trusted, positive, and supportive people who will be our listening ears and our pillars of support when life gets hard. Bounce ideas and get guidance from wise people who have been there or are ahead of us. Having a quality support system will give us so much motivation to keep going. We will also feel supported and we know that we are not alone. So those are the five tips that you can use to train and strengthen your resilience while making changes and crisis work best for you. I hope you find them helpful, but let me know in the comment section below if you have any other tips that you use to strengthen your resilience. I would love to hear. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.